Continuing with our study of the marbles module, we have the three X outputs hooked up to three oscillators which are running sine waves and we have them uh, put into a mixer so we can hear what's going on. So the X2 is connected to this middle one so there we have a random module basically a sample and hole situation going on random melody Nothing so special about that. But where marble shines is that we can combine it. First of all, it's important that you realize this is locked to the C scale. So it will sound good. We can bring in some harmonies. stay very melodic because all the pitches are quantized to a scale now marbles allows us to change the scale if we want and we can experiment with some minor scale or other scale but there's really no need to change it say from C to D or any other one because I can use my standards module and add an offset to all the oscillators to get any key I want so basically I should never need to program my marbles at all because it's, it comes with all these various scales but they're all in the key of C so we have C major, C minor and so on we can change it to D or E or any other key we want simply by adding in an offset can confine the melody using the spread control or expand it to wider ranges of notes and uh, we can bias the whole thing up or down so that's biasing it towards the lower notes That's biasing it more towards the higher notes. So that gives us a pretty good... There. It's this air that keeps us in scale. The steps keeps us in, sta in scale. 
We can engage the deja vu. Now if we put that to 12 o'clock so that that flashes, what that means is that we're locked in a, four, uh, a loop, a tight loop. Hear it? Just a repeating loop. So now we're allowing in some new notes and we can extend the length of the loop and lock it again. Now it will continuously repeat, but now it's about it. Doesn't sound quite as monotonous because it's a longer loop. The length is set to a longer length. we can quickly lock it. If you're playing and you, and you want to lock it, you just turn it to that mid position so that it flashes. And of course you could always slow it down. You could use these three to trigger some drums to accompany your melody, but since I don't have any Eurorack drum modules yet, I would have to set up individual drum songs using plates, rings, and maybe a couple of other oscillators on my uh, main 5U system. But I could do that for the next video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.